Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Joey Bianconi. All right, welcome back everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's a gorgeous morning out there in Helena right now. 53 degrees, partly cloudy skies and calm wind, but that's not going to last very long as we'll have pretty strong wind returning to the state tomorrow and Friday, but at least temperatures right now. We're pleasant. We're in the 50s for most of us to start out our morning. Wind is calm too. We have a little bit of some breezy conditions out there in Great Falls, 12 miles an hour out of the southeast, but the wind will pick up today in isolated spots, and that's due to some thunderstorms that will form in southwest Montana. Notice just these tiny portions of land encompassed there that is going to experience some pretty strong wind. That is all due to some thunderstorm downdraft winds uh, that will be coming through later. We'll have some strong thunderstorms, but shouldn't have any severe today, but we do have severe potential tomorrow, which is why we see this strong wind showing up in uh, the central and eastern Montana. But we will have a cold front that pushes through Helena and Great Falls around the early afternoon hours tomorrow. And behind that front, we will have some very strong wind, 15 mile an hour to 30 mile an hour sustained wind up to 50 mile an hour gusts along the Rocky Mountain front and the immediate cold front. We could see uh, some pretty gusty winds with those storms that form on there. The wind will persist along the Rocky Mountain front into Friday morning and we'll have a little bit of a northwest wind as the low moves on eastward. That flow wraps back around. We'll have some upsloping near Great Falls could generate some uh, rain showers for our morning, but by the afternoon hours, most of the strong wind moves to southeast Montana and then the winds out of the state by Saturday and it will be a nice day on Saturday. So not much going on on the radar right now. Just a couple of showers making its way into western Montana, New Missoula. We do have here's this cold front and low pressure system making its way on to the uh, coast there near Seattle and Portland do have some moisture making its way up from the, su the summer monsoons. That'll give us our thunderstorms today. So two specific areas of moisture. We also do have an active wildfire right now in the Little Belt Mountains. This is Judith Basin County. Uh, it's about 10 miles southwest of Stanford. Here's a picture of what this fire looked like. This was a couple days ago, so this has been burning for a little while. We're up to 92 acres burned so far. Hand crews, engine crews, and a helicopter are on scene. It's still active and the cause is under investigation. But at least the rain will help with this situation. We'll have numerous thunderstorms in western Montana today. A few of them could be on the stronger side, like I said, but we don't expect any severe weather today. The severe weather is coming tomorrow. As notice some still strong looking storms still persist into Thursday morning, and then we'll have some sunshine in central and eastern Montana. We'll get those storms really going. Look at those pinks showing up. We could have some big hail out there tomorrow, along with some gusty winds and can't even rule out an isolated tornado with some of those storms as they make their way eastward. So here's our severe weather outlook for tomorrow. A lot of eastern Montana included in that central Montana, Lewistown, Billings included in the level two out of five. Could also see some pretty heavy downpours with some of those storms as well. So today we'll be in the 80s. We'll have those numerous thunderstorms around in southwest Montana. Temperatures will be on the decline for the next couple days. Thursday and Friday are on the cooler side, but will warm back up for the weekend. 